What's going on, Sheepdogs? Suresh here, 221B Tactical. Today we are talking about the Spartan Armor Level 3A Concealable Wraparound Body Armor Vest. We're gonna get right into it. As many of you know, I spent 13 years on the job as a full-time police officer wearing body armor just like this. One of my gripes while wearing body armor was always the fit and the comfort of the body armor vest. I felt like there was just never a good balance between a good fit and a good comfort of these vests. And the second I tried this vest on, I was like, wow, finally someone got it. Someone got a good cut and a good design that gives you the optimal protection without sacrificing your comfort and your mobility. So I'm gonna get into that right now. Uh, Spartan Armor, great company, made in the USA Body Armor, and we're so proud to offer their products, their quality made in the USA products right here on our website. So I'm gonna get into the fit, some of the exterior features, and then we're gonna talk about the ballistics toward the end of this video. Now, I wanna let you know, those of you watching this video that maybe you're law enforcement, maybe you're military, you're some kind of super ninja, this video is probably not gonna be for you because I'm gonna explain some low level things in here because there's a lot of people watching this video who they were never in the military. They were never a police officer. They've never bought body armor before. They know nothing about body armor. So this is their first foray, if you would, into the body armor space. And uh, this is a learning video for them. If you are a seasoned veteran, then you probably already know everything you're gonna hear in this video. If you're a new police officer, maybe there's some things you'll learn as I did the job for 13 years and had some experiencing uh, experiences wearing this kind of body armor. So we'll get into it. First thing I like about this vest is the cut. Now, like I said, there's a fine line between the area of protection and comfort. And this vest blends both perfectly because it gives you the optimal coverage I feel that you need on the front and the back, and I'll turn around in a second, without sacrificing your ability to move your arms and be comfortable. One of the things I hated were the vests that came out too far and you literally couldn't like bring your arms together. That was so annoying, so frustrating, and even reaching for things on your belt and uh, on, you know, on your uniform was a hassle. So I really like the cut of this. I like how up front it comes up high to give you the protection you need once again, but without choking you if you sit down and the rest, vest rides up a little bit or anything like that. And you'll see there's a nice cutout here on the vest. And this vest should, for optimal use, come up to where about your collarbones meet. And that's where I feel like that's the height of the vest that I like. I'm gonna turn around. Nice and high on the back as well. That is something very important. Another thing I love about this vest is that it gives you high quality Velcro when it comes to your closures. So you have Velcro on the shoulder straps, front and rear right here that lock in. And of course on this side strap. Now uh, on outer carriers, this is called a cummerbund, uh, but on concealed body armor, people just kind of call this your side strap. I call it the cummerbund, it's up to you. But this side strap is what brings the body armor around and it gives you that overlap here, which you should have. I'm gonna talk about that overlap right now. The front and rear panels should overlap, in my opinion, by about an inch or more. I like to have it about an inch and a half. That's about where this overlap is. If the front and rear panels don't meet and you see a gap, meaning if you were able to see the white of my t-shirt in between this, um, these two body armor panels, that would be a problem. Uh, that is a problem to me because as luck would have it, you know that you're gonna get into a shootout and if you turn sideways, you're gonna take that bullet right into that gap where you don't have your body armor. Does it add a little bit more bulk if your panels overlap? Yes, it does, but I think if it came to having a little bit more bulk on your side, like this much more bulk, uh, opposed to having a bullet, I think you'll choose the bulk uh, every day of the week. So I like to have a little bit of overlap. Make sure when you size your vest, the size chart is on our website. Make sure that you get it so you have a little bit of overlap there for your own protection, okay? So back to the Velcro straps, heavy duty Velcro, none of that cheap Velcro that ends up breaking down and not even securing uh, after a while because you take it off and maybe you wash it 
or maybe you're getting hot and sweaty. You don't want that. This is high grade Velcro. You can see how well it sticks. It conforms flat and it's beautiful. Nice thin straps too. You don't have any of those thick straps, which once again, cause more bulk. And you are, obviously everyone wants to try to reduce bulk as much as possible. Now, of course, we have the Max Dry Vest for body armor ventilation that you can wear under this vest. It's only eight millimeters thin and it allows breathability, but this vest comes with a beautiful water resistant material. So uh, for those of you who are concerned about maybe sweating in your body armor, which if you're wearing it for an extended period of time, whether it's warm weather or cold weather, you will sweat. And if you don't happen to have a Max Dry Vest for body armor ventilation, you could rest assured that at least you have the uh, water repellency on the inside of this, so it's a nice feature. Now, I have a uniform shirt here because a lot of people say, well, how does it look underneath a shirt? So I have a, a very basic police uniform shirt here. For those of you who are civilians looking to get this and wonder how would it look under a shirt or how would it look under a jacket, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on right now so you can see just how well it conceals this right here. And this is a similar shirt to what I wore when I was on duty as an officer. Uh, the ones I wore were a bit nicer than this shirt, but this is almost like a class B shirt. And you see here, I'm gonna step back a little bit, nice and concealed and has a beautiful fit. So you don't really look like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man uh, when you have this kind of shirt on. And from a distance, most people, or even if you put like a winter coat on over this, most people probably wouldn't even know that you had anything on. And once again, you see here, I can move my arms, put my arms over my head. I could reach down if I need, no problem moving and flexibility because of this beautiful design. So I'm gonna take this shirt off and I'm gonna talk about ballistics for a second because many of you don't know the difference between soft armor and hard armor, and that's okay. So soft armor, when you see the A, in the beginning of this video, I said it's a level 3A vest. When you hear the A, level 3A, level 2A, that indicates soft body armor. So soft body armor is rated to stop pistol or handgun rounds, handgun rounds including 9mm, 40, 45, 44 Magnum, uh, and in some cases, 357. So this vest is rated to stop all of those and NIJ certified. Uh, the NIJ, the oversight committee that makes the rules, the guidelines, the standards for testing body armor. So you wanna look at body armor and you wanna make sure that if it's not NIJ certified, it at least meets or exceeds the NIJ standards, okay? And you can look that up uh, on your own to look at those standards and make sure before you buy it body armor, you see that little seal. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the difference between the rounds because some of you, civilians especially, have never seen a bullet before. So I'm gonna show you a typical handgun bullet and a typical rifle bullet. You can see the difference in size, uh, the point, you can see how much thinner and how this is more rounded. So this is a nine millimeter round, very common. And this is a two, two, three round uh, that you see uh, in the news and the media, you see the AR-15. Uh, this is uh, the bullet that an AR-15 would shoot, uh, either two, two, three, five, five, six. So this vest is not rated to stop these rifle rounds. If you want to stop rifle rounds, you gotta get a plate carrier with either steel or composite plates. However, this plate will stop most any handgun round, these kinds of rounds. So you have that ability uh, to choose your level of protection. If handgun threats are your concern, this is gonna do beautifully for you. It's gonna be a lot lighter and a lot more comfortable than wearing a plate carrier with steel plates. However, if your concern is rifle rounds from rifles like AR-15s, then you wanna step it up and we have a separate video for that. So I'm gonna take this off really quick and I'm gonna show you the inside just so you see how well it's constructed. There you see Spartan armor made in the USA. Uh, there is a little zipper here that allows you to take this panel. So this is a panel inside of here. You could take that panel out and wash this. Like I said, this is a beautiful water resistant material, but after wearing it for long hours, if you don't have a Max Dry vest 
Uh, for body armor ventilation, you may want to wash this. This may get a little funky. Uh, so you can pull those panels out, just zip that open, pull the panels out. I would recommend taking the straps off so you're not throwing those through the wash and you can wash these panels, uh, these this carrier in your normal laundry and uh, that's it, you'll be good to go. You'll have fresh carrier, put your panels back in, put your Velcro straps back on and you're good to go. Now, one thing about this vest I'm gonna share with you that is a feature that's nice that some vests don't have is this vest on the front comes with a built-in five by eight. I'm gonna get this thing straight so it doesn't look messed up here. It comes with a five by eight trauma pad inside the center of the vest. Now, what is a trauma pad? A trauma pad is an additional piece of padding that is on center mass on the vest. And what it does is attenuates back face deformation. So uh, for those of you who don't know, back face deformation is when, uh, when you have the bullet strike the vest. Although the bullet doesn't go through, there is a degree of pressure and let me say bulging out uh, from the back side of the vest and that could go into your obviously your sternum area so to reduce that pressure and how much uh, push out there is there is an extra pad in there a five by eight pad they call a trauma pad that helps attenuate that back face deformation Thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little bit more about body armor and this beautiful level 3A wraparound concealable body armor vest by Spartan Armor. If you have any questions about this vest or any of our other body armor, please send our team an email at sales at 221btactical.com. Our team is there 24 seven to answer your questions about body armor or any of our gear designed to help keep you safer and more comfortable, whether you are in law enforcement, military, or you're just a civilian looking to protect yourself or your family. If you have any other questions about any of our other gear, check out our website, 221btactical.com. You could shop 24 seven from the comfort of your phone and go through all the product descriptions. Everything is there in black and white to explain to you before you make your purchase. So we wanna educate you before you make any purchases, especially when it comes to purchases like body armor. We understand it's a big investment for you and utilize our sales team, which is there 24 seven uh, for you as well. Make sure you utilize them and ask questions, uh, as many questions as you want before you make your decision. We insist that you are satisfied with your purchase. Thank you for watching and remember, always watch their hands, watch your six and get home safe. We'll see you next time.